No, no, no. No need to be scared, little one. It's me. Mr. Voldemort. Remember? Yeah, that's it. No, that's not the first time I've almost had a pillow chucked at my head. Oh, I could tell a million stories. I'm sorry I scared you. Although, it's not entirely my fault. Your mom didn't exactly announce my arrival. She just told me where your room was. And, in response to why I called you a little one, I call everyone that. Just ignore me. So, um, how are you feeling? Oh, yes, yeah, sweet one, I know you got a cold after the storm. But please, I promise you, that wasn't my intent. The reason I said that was because you seem to believe that I have the worst intentions for you. And to be honest, I'm not exactly sure where that comes from. It just kind of stems out of nowhere. But it's okay. I can be here now. I want to prove to you that you can trust me. Listen, I want you to know that no matter what, I will never have any, any negative intentions towards you. I will always be caring and gentle with you. Your mom said she was going to the grocery store. She was actually very grateful I came by. Oh, oh, sweet one, again, th there's no need to be afraid of me. Yes, we may be alone in your house, but I, I, I really don't intend to hurt you. Well, I just want to be here for you. I mean, it's kind of my fault you got this cold in the first place. I really should have checked the weather forecast before bringing us on a camping trip which ended up getting cut short. You were ex exhibiting sickness symptoms, even on the bus ride home. And Joe's old bus is so slow, I might as well have been taking you home in a little red wagon. Ah, you poor thing. Here, mind if I come sit next to you? I think I might look less intimidating if I sit. Um, may I feel your head? I just want to see if that fever's broken. Boy, hey, whoa. I don't even have my ruler. I'm serious. I don't always carry the thing with me. Okay, it may or may not be in my car, but I'm not going to hit you with it. Where did you even get that idea from, anyway? Oh, you poor sweet thing. Listen to me. I want you to know that no matter what, I will always have your best interest at heart. No matter what's going on. And I promise you, if there's anything you ever need, you can always come to me. I don't know why you're so scared of me. But I do intend to fix that. Oh, you poor thing. You're so scared I sent you into a coughing fit. Here, do you want some cold water? Okay. 
Just stay there. I'll be right back. Here you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with the big gulps, hmm? Okay, no. I'm not telling you how to drink water. I'm just saying that if you take big gulps like that, little pockets of air are going to get in the water because you'll be inhaling it rather than drinking it. Which means those little pockets of air are going to go into your throat. It'll either cause hiccups, burps, or mucus bubbles, otherwise known as phlegm. So I'd highly advise you not to do that. Oh, you poor sweet thing. Hopefully that water's cooled you down a little bit. I can just kind of sense your heat from here. Hey. I want you to know. I really am sorry about the camping trip. I understand why you think I'd have bad intentions for you after that, but I promise you, my intentions were true. They really were, though. I don't think I ever told you why I brought you on the camping trip in the first place. It wasn't just some petty excuse to get your grades up in gym. I just wanted to talk to you. I never really got the chance to, because you were tired after helping me gather firewood. Which, again, great job. But you also got really sick in that storm. So I didn't really get the chance to ask you why. Why you freeze up in my class sometimes. Especially when I take out my ruler. You always think I'm going to hurt you. It isn't just me that notices. The other students have taken notice, too. Oh, no, that's not to intimidate you, love. I'm just saying, I... I'm worried about you. This isn't just a teacher worrying about a student. I... I'm genuinely worried about you. You always seem to think I'm going to hurt you. I could never hurt you. I never want to hurt anyone. Even the smallest little student, up to your year of his senior year in high school. It's so special to me. All of you. Every little student here at school is special. And I teach everyone. I don't do it just for the math. Yeah, of course I love math, but that's not all. I love all of you. And your bright, smiling faces. And your soft, gentle voices just laughing happily as you wander through the halls. Sometimes I get mad at principal for sending you to detention. After all, every kid likes to joyfully leap through the halls. I know I did it as a kid. Yeah, Princey can be a little strict. I mean, he just thinks he knows what's best for the student, which, I mean, he's not wrong, but still. Detention for running in the halls? You could be late to class. Oh, I know I could go on and on and on, couldn't I? Oh, um, no, I didn't bring any makeup work for you. And not even Mrs. Pomp had any. She understood that you got sick in the storm, and... She didn't want to give you any work.
Yeah, she did want me to remind you that you have a research paper due for her, but that's not till next week, so you've got plenty of time. Unless you haven't started on... Uh, of course you haven't. Hey. Um, would you like me to help you with it? No, no, you don't have to do anything. You can just talk me through what you want to do. Oh, believe me, dear one, when I say I'm more than just a math dude. It's... It's more than that. I love every subject. Everything about learning. Yet, at the same time, I'm not one of those bozos who believes college is the only way you can achieve success in your future. I believe that no matter what you want to do, if you put your mind to it, you'll get there. Yes, I mean that. In every possible way, I do. Listen, in my eyes, you deserve everything for what happened. So please, let me help you. I actually did bring my computer. I can help you research whatever you want. We'll do this under the table. No telling Pom. All right. Let's get started.